Good morning from a little bit of a chilly player blanket this morning and it's May so we thought we'd do the monthly update of the new cruise terminal in Playa Blanca. Now I've got a new camera usually you see me down the bottom left hand corner and um, but we're gonna try it and uh, you won't be seeing my ugly mug all the way around the video so let me know which you prefer do you want to see my ugly mug or do you not want to see it anyway there's the harbour and the cruise terminal behind us let's go take a good walk around with this new camera and show you the progress because it's getting bigger and bigger so there you go there's the bird's eye view from up near Popeyes so there's plenty of cars in that car park that big white building in the background is looking like it's coming along let's go take a walk down so here we are at the entrance to the harbour you can see there's still a lot of building going on it's still a little bit chaotic although I know somebody did comment saying it wasn't it was very simple but then the other day we did have a little um, problem with some customers that were booked on the Linus Romero one and they've moved over to the far end which I'll show you so they were dragging their cases and everything that way so there was a little bit of a delay so it is quite complicated if you're coming down here so hopefully get yourself down here early and you can get your tickets and everything just follow this path it's a little bit of a long walk around um, but get here early get your tickets and you shouldn't have any issues now let's just have a look here so there you go you still got the cabrera medina there so that's what the car's worth that i saw apart um and they're over there look so cabrera medina if you want your car hire you can come down here or if you i guess if you're coming over from fuerteventura and you want to hire a car for the day you can do that um which is one option i suppose because they do say with car hire now it's an unwritten rule in your contract with the car hire it does say that you can't take it off the island but obviously everybody does but i wonder what would happen if you had a problem in fuerteventura and you'd rented the car in lanzarote or vice versa if anybody's had any experience with that let us know that's why we always suggest booking the Linus romero one because it's foot passengers only and especially if you're in Costa de Guise and Porta del Carmen, they'll even come and pick you up. Um, you'll go on the first ferry at 9.30 and you'll come back on the 5.30. So you get a full day in Fuerteventura to explore. Obviously, you won't have the car um, to drive around, but you've got Coraleco and you can possibly make your own way to the sand dunes as well. So there's a few options. Or you can book a full tour of Fuerteventura if you really want to see it. So let's have a look over the fence. There you go. A few clouds in the sky today. It's a little bit chilly. I am wearing a coat, but it's, I think it'll be nice this afternoon. I think the weather's going to change this afternoon. There's that big white building. Now, we did show you inside that last time. I can see some workmen over there. So maybe not today, but we will, we will give it a go, eh? I'm walking down the road, you can see. Police are coming down. Probably gonna stop me and ask me what I'm doing. But I've got this new camera which is really small. And the beauty of that is I just look like a regular tourist on holiday making a couple of videos. So the car park's uh, certainly coming along here. They've planted some trees. So that should look nice. And the lamp posts are up. Did we see them on the last video? I'm not sure. So we've got some light down here now. Not that we need it at the moment, but it looks like the lamp posts are there, look. So it's huge. I mean, it's a huge area here that they've done. There's people coming in, look, cars. They're looking a little confused and lost. So it's still a little bit complicated down here, but it is signposted. It says the Armas one there. And 
around the Fred Olsen there. You can see people are queuing for the Fred Olsen. And here's a little closer look at the big white building. There we go. So let's go and take a little walk over there and we'll show you at the water's edge and see if we can uh, see what's going on. And I'll show you where the Linnaeus Romero ferry is. So there's our favourite ferry, the Linnaeus Romero one. That's the foot passenger ferry there, look. So that has moved from its old position over here. And that's what's causing a few problems because it's quite a, a trek to get round there. So make sure you get there early. I'll show you where the ticket offices are in a moment. But here is where the Armus comes in. You can see there's a big view of there, look. Big white building there. Can't wait to see what that white building's gonna be. I know it's some kind of, you know, terminal for the cruises, but it's huge. So you've got the Armus here. You've got, let's pan round. You've got your Linnaeus Romero foot passenger ferry there. And then, over there, you've got your Fred Olsen. So there's a lot going on. Let's take a little walk where the ticket offices are and I can show you those. And you'll be able to see exactly what's going on. So you can see all the trucks, all the lorries are coming in. I'm probably gonna get myself run over here. Just doing a big turnaround. So morning time's very busy. Everyone's checking the tickets. This is for the first ferry, which I think it's around, well, what time is it now? It's nearly eight o'clock. So it's around eight o'clock that the first Fred Olsen goes, I do believe. But I think Armas, he's not far behind that. So the difference between your three ferries, uh, obviously Linnaeus Romero is your foot passenger ferry. Fred Olsen takes cars, but it has got a little one at the moment that also does foot passengers, which is really cheap. Um, but I'm not sure how long that's going to be because I think it's going back to um, another island. I'm not sure which island it came from. I think it might have been La Gomera. Um, and then you've got the Armas, which is a little bit of an older ferry. There's lots going on down here. Loads going on. All the buildings being done. There's lots of police around this morning as well. See, this is the beauty of having my new camera because it's so small and compact. No one's paying any attention to me whatsoever. See loads of things going on. They're all waiting for the Fred Olsen. And I reckon, well, they reckon this is going to be ready by October. What do you think? Drop me a comment. There's another view of the white building. Lampposts, lighting, parkings up. You can see in the background over there also is the Popeyes and the restaurants and the bars that are hopefully going to benefit from this uh, once it's all done, you know. I know they're busy already, they're busy at the moment. So they are busy at the moment and let's face it, the views are not great at present. So when the views are nice again and the cruise terminal's coming in, I'm sure those businesses are gonna really sort of uh, thrive. So it's great, great for them. Um, so there is benefits to having the cruises come into Playa Blanca. We've obviously discussed in the last videos some of the downfalls like the infrastructure that's in place and taxis and staff and yeah, traffic problems um, but I don't know we've got mixed reviews always on on these videos with the cruise terminal some people think it's terrible and with the big hotel that's been built some people are going mad so what are your thoughts drop us a comment so this is where you get your tickets for the Fred Olsen and the Armas look I don't know if you can get there 
via this footpath here. We'll, we'll take a walk up there and have a look. I'm sure you can. Save going all the way around like I did. And this look is where you get your tickets from. So you've got your armas there and you've got your Fred Olsen there. And the ticket office for Romero's, Linus Romero, the foot passenger one, is round the corner. So let's go take a look. So I took the whole walk around. It looks like there is a path that leads this way. And there is an entrance into the toilets this way. So let's go take a look, see if it brings us out the other end. And there we go. So there is an entrance into here. And that's where the small cafe is. You can't get through to the other side. We've got a small cafe here. And then down here, you've got your toilets just situated just there. I'll be honest with you, they're not the cleanest of toilets. And I wonder if they're going to rebuild or, or improve this. Because let's face it, this isn't the nicest, is it? If you've got a brand new cruise terminal over there, and then you've got that place for the ferries, it's not great. So let's take a final walk as we head out of the harbour area and see if this walkway here will give us a better entrance. You've got your bar and cafeteria there. There you go. I'll take you inside. Why not? While we're here, I'll take you inside. If you've got this far on the video, well done. Most people are done by three minutes. So a lovely bar and cafeteria here. You get yourself uh, some nice tapas. And that gives you views out here as well. You can't get out that side, because that side's completely cut off. Hold on, dear. That side's completely cut off. The food looked nice. Back out. So there is a little walkway here. And this will take you to the car rental there. Ah, and I can spot the Linears Romero ticket office, which has moved again. So I walked all the way around that way just to show you guys but you can come in via there so via the entrance there is a little entrance way here which will bring you down here it's signposted there tickets to Fred Olsen and Armas you head your way down there and you should be rocking and rolling okay and then to get the Linnaeus Romero tickets, you come into the same entrance, I think. <laughs> now we said at the beginning of the video that this was confusing. I still think it is. So for the Linnaeus Romero ones, look, you can come into the main entrance there where the taxis are. And instead of going that way, So instead of going down there, you will come through that entrance there and through this way here. And this will also give you the walkway into Playa Blanca Town. And we'll get you into this part of the harbour, okay? So there you go. And there is the ticket office for Linnaeus Romero where you get the foot passenger tickets from okay and here's a little look at the harbour without all the building work with very little anyway there you go so there's a little look 
So there we go. Thanks for watching. If you've come this far, then I've just given you a bloody good look around the whole harbour area, the new cruise terminal. If you've got any questions, drop us a comment. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn on the notifications because we're going to do loads of videos. We've got some very exciting things coming your way as well with lives and all sorts of stuff so stay tuned make sure to like subscribe and if you want to book any excursions ferries anything like that there's a link below and we'll see you soon thanks for watching if you've got this far see you very very soon in the next one